Hey everyone, Kaz Tech here, and this guide is going to be from levels 1 to 99 wood cutting. Now, to start this guide off, we're going to talk about equipment. One thing I must, you must do while training to 1 to 99 wood cutting is use the best hatchet you possibly can. So, for example, as you can see, because I've got 99 wood cutting, once I reach level 61, I was straight into a dragon hatchet. Now, the reason I, the reason you do this is because it will increase your rate of cutting logs it helps you basically and you want everything you can to help you reach that 99 it, to speed the process up and to make it a bit more convenient for you now also while doing wood cutting there's two more pieces of equipment you should highly use and that is a strung rabbit's foot as you can see here which increases your chances of getting a bird's nest drop now a bird's nest you can get uh, kind of various seeds from you can get magic seeds which at the moment are about 300k and I believe they kind of stay at that price so you know they help as well as once you crush the bird's nest you can actually sell them make a fair bit of money on them as well while I was achieving my 1 to 99 I got a fair few bird's nests and once you crush them all and sell them all together you do make a hell of a good profit off just the crushed bird's nests now while getting the bird's nests because I said you get various seeds from them, if you bring a Ring of Wealth, this will basically allow you to get the get a higher chance of getting a better drop from your bird's nest. doesn't mean you're going to, it just means it increases the chances, that's all. Okay, so let's get started then. Okay, so from levels 1 to 15, you're just going to be doing normal trees. Now you have to do 97 of these so I do recommend doing them in Grand Exchange purely because you can just run around here and you have a very close bank however if you just want to run around drop them fletch them whatever you want to do then you can also do them in Lumbridge anywhere with a load of trees however running around here will only take you a few routes round and you'll soon reach your level 15 okay so now that you're level 15 you're going to want to do oak trees. Now from levels 15 to 30, you're going to have to cut 293 of them. Now a good place to do this is in Draenor, which if you just home teleport, you just run down, it's just behind uh, Lumbridge basically. And as you can see, there are two oak trees just here. Now, doing oak trees isn't very good money. However, you do want a bank just because the bank is only there. And to be honest, it's probably a quicker bank. It's probably quicker to bank than to drop them all. Again, make sure you're using your strong rabbit's foot and your ring of wealth and also the best hatchet you possibly can. Which at level 15 to 30, at level uh, 21 you can use a mithril. And then once you've reached level 30, you just get one more level and you can use an adamant. Okay, so now it starts to get a little bit, bit longer, but it's still okay. Now, now that you're level 30... From levels 30 to 68, you're going to do willow logs. And again, this is in Draenor. You are going to have to cut 8,766. But as you can see, here's a bank just here. Now, if you run just around the other side of the bank, you'll see there are a whole load of willow trees here. And there is only actually one guy here. If you're free to play, this may take you a little bit longer, just because there are so many people cutting willows in a free-to-play world. And again bank these because you'll get a fair few fletching levels out of them or fire making levels and the bank is only just there okay so now that you're level 68 you're gonna go from level 68 to 99 doing IV now people some people love doing this method some people hate it some people don't like it because you don't make no money off of it you only well you you get the birds nest that's about it but you don't get kind of you don't get any logs or anything like that however while you're cutting 37,382 which is the recommend which is the required amount for 99 you will be getting a hell of a lot of birds nest as long as you're wearing your strong rabbit's foot and if you're wearing your ring of wealth then you will get you can get some fairly decent drops from it now this is the place that I like to cut ivy which is uh, just a south this is the south gate of Falador, as you can see here. And you would just run down here and follow the wall. 
Just keep running east. Quite a lot of people come down here to cut the yew tree down here. But if you just keep running, this is my one of my favourite places to cut ivy. As you see, there's no one here at the moment. However, when there is someone here, it's usually just one or two people. So you can start a decent conversation and it just makes it a bit more interesting, really. So as I said, you do want to do this from level 68 to 99. And again, now that you're level 68, make sure you've either got a dragon hatchet. If you can't afford a dragon, then see if you can uh, get one lent to you or get a rune one. However, if you have 92 fire making and you have completed the quest all fired up, you can go and get the Inferno Axe. Now, the Inferno Axe acts the same as a Dragon Hatchet. It just, it apparently it does have a bit of an increased rate though, so that would be the better one to get really. Okay, so if you managed to reach 99 using my method, congratulations. Hope it wasn't too bad for you. Um, but basically now is the part where you go get your cape. So how you want to get your cape is you just want to home teleport to Falador. Here is the Falador lodestone here. And instead of running into the city, you're going to run the opposite way. Up to the musician, like this. Follow the path across. And you'll see him just here, Wilfred. Go talk to Wilfred. And he will ask you if you're interested in buying a skill cape of wood cutting. Just say yes please. And he will say that will cost you... There you go, look, that will cost you 99k. If you say that's too rich for me, he won't lower the price, he will just say, okay. Um, but yeah, just go no problem. And if I head to my inventory, there you go. There is the woodcut and cape and the woodcut and hood. That comes all within the 99k, that is not 99k each, that is uh, both of them just there. So, yeah, that's, that's 99 woodcutting. It's not a too bad skill to train it doesn't actually take too long if you get a decent amount a day in really you'll have it within a few days it's not a too bad method however if you want to make money from it it is going to take you a little bit longer i'm just going to pop the hood on there so you can see so this is the woodcut and cape if you don't have the green trim down the side that is only because it is only your first 99 however if it is your second 99 or you have more 99s like me then you will have to trim down it just like so so I'm going to go ahead and show you the emote. This is it from the front view. Not a too bad emote. It is probably one of the more favourite emotes on RuneScape. And now a rear view. A lot of people do like this emote because uh, it's a lot more kind of... It shows off a lot more than quite a few emotes really. And there you go. So yeah, as I said, I hope it wasn't too bad reaching 99. Um, but congratulations if you have reached it. Just a quick shout out. Just want to give a quick shout out to my cousin. Um, Crobinson X has actually achieved 99 woodcutting. Um, so well done to him. He he done it in a good amount of time. It, he didn't find it too bad either. Now it was a second 99. So congratulations on also getting your trimmed skill cape. But yeah, I wish the rest of you best of luck as well. And um, that's it from me. Um, do your thing. Comment, rate, subscribe. You know how to do it. And uh, look, and basically just keep an eye out for my next video. Alright, thank you very much guys. Cheers.